Good evening, good morning. I have a few thoughts about a topic that as a guitar player I have been faced with my whole life. And it's something that I don't hear on anybody else's channel, not that there isn't a video on it, I just haven't seen one. Talking about being at the ability level you're at and then playing with somebody at a different ability level. Whether you're in a band where everyone's a lot better than you, well, or somewhat better, or you're in a band and you're a lot better than most of the people in the band. And I think there's also times in my life where this is applied to one-on-one -on -one with different musicians, you know. You, you could be moving to a new place and you want to, you have to start networking and finding musicians and it, it can be a long process. And I'm just going to talk about some of these things that um, you have to sort through as a musician. Another thing about this video, I want to address something that I think is very important to young people. And that is, as a young person, when I first started playing guitar, I was 14 years old. I wanted to start playing when I was 12, but I didn't know if I was going to be serious enough and I blew it off for a, a couple years and I kind of regretted it. Anyway, I started at 14 and we had some pretty amazing musicians in our jazz ensemble and there were a couple guys that played really good guitar, I mean, for being you know, 17, 18 years old, my God. And this is, this is back in the late 80s, early 90s. And now you have social media and it appears that everybody that's younger than me is like an amazing guitar player that I could never be. And from my perspective, you know, that's, it's like I, I've spent my whole life playing and it's like I, I consider myself a decent player but I wouldn't consider myself a great player because when you see what great players are supposedly at this super high level of like you know uh, perfection and everything you're seeing is a collaboration where nobody everybody seems to be just amazing right it's giving I it's gonna give you, as a beginner, this impression that like, you know, if you've been playing for a year or two, and you could feel like, I should quit. Don't quit, this is all BS. This is like a manufactured thing. You're seeing, you're literally, I mean, how many billion people are on the planet? You're seeing like the top, you know, thousand, masters of their craft heavily edited and you're seeing it just completely I mean even those guys make mistakes if, if you were in their room just watching them jam through an amp or something I mean they're, they're, they're not perfect but some of these guys have editing fetishes where they just go so beyond what reality could give you live on stage you know in their room with uh, software and editing it just goes on and on. So don't look at it like that. Um, I've been playing guitar for, oh God, over 30 years. And um, I didn't feel like I really was enjoying what I was playing until like between my fifth and seventh year of sticking to the instrument. And you know, if you really, really, I mean, if. If you're just, I'm just an average human being. And if you're an average human being, don't quit. It's just that you gotta put a lot of effort into it. I, I, I practiced like eight, jeez, oh I practiced, you know, maybe, I don't know, between four to six hours a day where I would call it real practice while I was going to like art school. I mean, I wasn't even doing music and I was like just 
blowing everybody off. Just you know, you could you can go out and get you know hammed out of your mind every night, or or go to the bars and all that, or you can go once in a while and, and keep your craft together. I mean, just just. I don't know how people do it with all the distractions now with their phones and, and, you know, everything else in life and, you know, having more and more uh, debt and, you know, what, what people go through now. But, you know, if you can manage to be interested in guitar long enough to stick with it, you know, you'll, you will, you will get somewhere with it. And it's all up to whether or not you can, you know, you can you can have some kind of willpower and some kind of schedule for that. Moving on, now we get to the part where we're playing with other people. When you're a younger player, I'm going to get through the younger part and then I'm going to get through the older part, and then and then you guys can understand where this is going. So when you're a younger player and you get out there, a lot of guys just you know they they've been doing it longer. And with me, I could hold my own with rhythm guitar and, you know, riffs and, and I had my gear and, and, and I was like punctual and I would show up. And, and at that time, I played with a lot of older people. I wasn't a very good player in my opinion. I could play lead, but not like, like I wasn't like anything to write home about at all. And, and I could, you know, figure out the songs. I didn't know... Th theory yet I was just an ear player at that point my, my 20s and um, I just uh, have to have some caffeine but I, I did what I had to do and I had you know some tact of mind not to once in a while I would try to do something I really couldn't do and, it, and I would fail but at least I would hear that and you gotta you gotta know as a as a as a beginner to intermediate playing with other people, you got to know when and when you can't do something and, 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 uh, and just that's how you're going to learn how to adapt on the fly is just playing with other people, just, just doing it. Now, when it comes to playing with getting, getting your ability up and let's say now you're, you're out there and, and then you're meeting other people who, uh, you know, maybe you need to to get into a new band, or you're you're trying to replace a band member or something in that. And and this is another thing: knowing when to tell somebody this is not a good match, or you need to work more on this, or or whatever it is. Man, I was the worst at that. I I I I would wind up really screwing myself. And, and trying to help people when I should have just said, hey man, you got to go and get your ass practiced up and then do this later. And people don't want to hear that. And this, this is probably the pinnacle of the video is, okay, so in closing, young players starting out, don't get discouraged, stick to it, at least get through three or four years before you decide that maybe I can't do this. I mean, there are some of us out there that like the ear and the um, and the muscle coordination and the and the rhythm somehow just can never get connected. I have a I have a friend who he's really talented at at, at his day job. Man, does he make money! But I mean, his his dream of being a, a decent guitar player. It's just never going to happen. And, um, you know, it, it, it is discouraging. But if, if, these, if you've got a good person who is having a hard time and maybe, you know, is willing to listen and just do what they need to do on the side to get better, you know, it, it's totally okay to, if you want to volunteer your time to help somebody like that. I'm just saying, though, for, for these other people that are just, you know, narcissist and crazy, you know, keep them far away. But those are my thoughts. Have a happy playing day or whatever the hell, you know, whatever floats your boat, you know.
if you're a part-time guitar player, have fun. If you're if you're really diehard, you know, cool. Anyway, see you later.